David Michael Beck. I'm an illustrator and uh, a painter. When I was very young, um, uh, my parents did enroll me in art school, a uh, summer program, uh, when I was seven years old. Uh, and just prior to that, um, we attended a PTA meeting, my parents and I, uh, and my teacher had mentioned that I had shown unusual aptitude uh, for art and that I was always preoccupied with it. My father, he brought me over to the couch and on the coffee table was a Mickey Mouse comic book and he took a piece of paper and a pencil and um, he just drew this thing out perfectly and when I saw him do that I instantly it was like a, it was like an epiphany for me I guess at that young age where I realized that instead of just scribbling stuff off the end of my brain um, I could actually look at something and, and, and copy it I, I can't remember ever wanting to be a fireman or a, you know a cowboy or a, or a, a policeman or I, I never really thought about anything other than being an artist. There was no guesswork about it. As I grew older and uh, was more engaged with my, with my artwork, um, it was just uh, like a, a natural thing that that's what exactly what I was going to do uh, with my life. So um, I did some research um, and uh, decided that I would like to try the American Academy of Art in Chicago. Um, and then I finished up uh, my last two years at the Chicago Academy of Fine Arts, which was a few blocks away um, from uh, the, the American Academy, and I majored in animation because Walt Disney had graduated from there and I, I figured if it was good enough for him it was good enough for me. <laughs> well an illustrator uh, by definition uh, is, is different than say a, uh, a fine art painter or if, if there is a line of demarcation there. Um, uh, illustration is basically to sell a product or to um, illustrate a narrative uh, primarily, uh, say for books uh, and so forth. There's cover work that uh, a lot of times entails a narrative uh, overtone to it. Uh, certainly interior artwork in books, whether it be children's books or prose books with chapter openers and such, all have a narrative attached to it. You pretty much do whatever you feel like doing and you hope for that sells through a gallery that was, is representing you. You're not really tied to anybody's criteria. Um, you're basically uh, going with uh, your heart's desire uh, and hope that it connects with an audience. I began working in the studios of Chicago when there were big art studios um, where they would hire a, a, a whole group of illustrators, a group of photographers and production people and so on and so forth. And my real start in professional um, in, in the profession of an illustrator was when I began working in those studios because you were sub subjected to a lot of different projects that covered a lot of different criteria. And uh, at that time, I was exploring the usage of a lot of different uh, mediums and, 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 and materials and, and tools. Uh, because if you worked in a studio, the more, the, the, the more range that you had in your work, the more possibility for, for, for getting jo jobs because it was a freelance basis. I was into cartooning, uh, I was into realism, I was into um, publishing, uh, and so I, as, I, as I got older and I became more competitive in the marketplace, uh, my interests and range widened which kind of brings me up to where I'm at now, where um, I'm proficient in uh, a number of, of different mediums and different techniques uh, that can be applied to just about every market you can possibly think of. You don't really um, go out looking for a style. It just kind of happens, uh, you know, and, and, and I get this a lot from students is how do you get a style? Well, 
it you know you 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 end up having a, a a designated visual voice through many years and long hours of, uh, of hard work and you don't really realize it until you're already there. My work is basically stylized realism um, for the most part. Uh, the, the, uh, the animated stuff or the cartoon if you will, um, that all has derived from my love of comic books and newspaper strips and you know following cartoons. Uh, I was an avid, still am an avid lover of animated cartoons. Um, so that aspect was derived from my childhood. My inspirations uh, are varied um, and I have so much uh, imagery coming through my mind all the time. Uh, I can't shut it off. It's I'm, I'm, I never, I never get tired of conceptualizing in my mind about something I'm doing. Even while I'm doing, say for instance, uh, a gallery piece, I'm thinking about something that I could do uh, in some other area uh, that I haven't challenged or I'd like to revisit. Um, it seems I never get tired. Um, I never lack motivation, uh, which is which is good. Um, Although it can be a, a bit of a self-made purgatory because you can't turn it off, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, just, it just keeps coming at you and it's the thing that I enjoy doing the most. Uh, although I do love getting out and you know, doing things outside with friends and, and family and such. But um, on any given time, I'd rather be painting and drawing. I always have a, uh, just a, a plethora of cornucopia of, uh, of ideas that, that uh, I, I desire to, to, to render in some form, whether they be finished drawings or, or paintings, um, whatever, it's just, it's just endless. Well, uh, initially if it's commercial work, I want them to buy it. I want them to buy something. You know, whatever I'm, whatever I'm advertising with my imagery, I want them to go out and buy it. Um, with my my gallery work, with my entertainment work, I the emphasis is I want them to be entertained. I, I want them to whatever their day is like. If if they look at a piece of my work, um, that it brings uh, uh, some pleasure to them. They, that they are entertained to some degree. If it's a if it's a children's book work, uh, young adult readers, whatever it would be, I want whoever is looking at my work uh, to bring back a, a sense of, of joy. <laughs>